Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm Sergey from Russia and I try to improve my English with this YouTube channel. Today I want to tell you uh, basic information about audio behavior in Apple Motion. This behavior synchronizes changing of your or changing parameters of your objects to audio to audio track to your voice to to the sound and uh, it it is uh, automatically uh, first of all we have to open motion project if it, it is not important what uh, parameters uh, what settings of this project we uh, we will choose for example i choose broadcast 1080 uh, uh, 30 fps and 10 seconds uh, length of uh, of my uh, of my project i open the uh, apple motion then i change zoom of my canvas to fit to zoom to see all uh, that uh, is in uh, this window uh, first, first of all we have to import uh, our sound to apple motion i do it with uh, with uh, common menu command file import as audio and i have that file on the desk uh, desktop of my mac and i import this this sound you can uh, listen to it okay uh, then i want to import the um, the image we uh, will work with uh, this type of image and I simply imp import it to the layers to the layers and I import it here okay as you can see the uh, the size uh, the size of this picture is smaller than our frame and uh, we have to uh, increase the scale of this picture to fill all our all all space of our uh, of our frame i go to the inspector properties and i scale it for example to 130 percent uh, then first uh, first um, first par parameter we uh, will uh, change it will be scale parameter and i want it to uh, to be changed by rhythm of music uh, and i click to this arrow then add parameter behavior audio here i have to choose that audio that we imported uh, a few seconds uh, a few seconds um, ago okay and i have the um, waveform of this of this sound and uh, our uh, the scale the scale of this picture will be uh, changing will change uh, as you can see as uh, uh, with synchronizing of these peaks let's uh, see what we have now okay i think it's uh, very uh, very good and uh, and uh, that's uh, that's it maybe, maybe that's it uh, if you want uh, you can change the scale parameter here to change zoom of uh, to change scale scale for uh, more to change to change uh, the scale more for example i change it to uh, maybe 1.5 and as you can see this this parameter this parameter uh, change uh, changes uh, change bigger uh, if you want to uh, synchronize this uh, parameter to only bass, you can change it here. This this is bass. It's from low frequency, from 11 uh, hertz to 
141 hertz. If you want to ch to synchronize it to mid frequ frequency, you can uh, choose it here, uh, graph range mid, and uh, mid uh, frequency is from 141 to 1778 uh, uh, hertz. And uh, treble, uh, treble it is uh, high frequ frequency, and you can see uh, it uh, here. What what is the the space from low to high frequency? And if you want, you of course uh, can keep all frequencies to synchronize uh, your your parameter to to all frequencies of your sound. Then uh, I want uh, uh, the, 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 this, that uh, was the first uh, the first thing that I wanted uh, to um, to show to show you. Uh, just now I want to show how you can make a wave for, for this picture, uh, and uh, this wave will be uh, will will change. Uh, uh, with synchronizing to audio. I go to the filters, then I uh, have to find here wave filter. I apply it to Apple Cover image. Then I go to the inspector and uh, we will change uh, parameter called amplitude. And as you can see, uh, the waves of this picture uh, change uh, change uh, more or less and uh, I think it will be interesting when we uh, synchronize this parameter to audio but I have to um, I have to decrease this parameter to zero because because I want to um, I want this parameter in in some uh, in some moments to be zero to see this uh, this logo as it is without any uh, waves then i go to the <coughs> library to apply behavior called audio oh no 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 i go to the wave then amplitude i go here and add parameter behavior audio and I I pick here cover cover sound and uh, just now let's play and we will uh, see uh, nothing uh, nothing changed uh, and uh, to see to th see uh, the changing of this logo I have to change scale parameter and the uh, more I increase it more waves and more waves will be um, will be in my picture let's see what we have just now okay but as I said I uh, want in uh, some moments to keep this apple as it is. We have to um, put down uh, these points, uh, it called uh, floor, and uh, here I uh, increase floor, but it go, goes down, goes down, and uh, I want to, uh, in some moments, it it is maximum down and as you can see our uh, apple our logo in these places is at is at ease without any changing if you want you can uh, uh, some you can increase this parameter a little bit Okay, if you want, you can change peaks from sharp to smooth, but uh, I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't know, is it uh, better or it isn't. I, I like more with 
with sharp uh, peaks. Okay, and uh, that was the second thing uh, I wanted to show you. And the third thing I want to show you, it, it is about changing the color of objects. For example, I want to... I want uh, to uh, to print a text, for example, uh, Final Cut, uh, Final uh, Cut Pro. Uh, I increase the size of uh, this uh, text and I change here in appearance the color of this text and uh, Final. And I want this text to, to change the color uh, synchronizing by music and I will use for that uh, effect filter called hue saturation. I go to the filters then I go to the color and I find here um, a hue saturation effect and I apply it to the to the text. So then I go to the inspector and I uh, can see here the circle the color the color wheel called hue and with this uh, with this color wheel we can change the color of the text and uh, we will uh, apply to this uh, parameter behavior audio let's do that i click here then at parameter behavior audio as um, as you know we uh, we should apply here cover Patrick Patricius and um, and uh, I think we have the effect let's let's see and as you can see uh, as you can see in the hue saturation filter uh, hue color wheel this color wheel changes I will show you. You can see how it changes. But I want this parameter to change more. So I go to the audio and then I increase scale parameter. And then I go to the hue saturation and as you can see it changes more and maybe uh, maybe let's go to the audio and I will increase it to 6.28 and uh, as you can see all colors of color wheel we have in our text let's uh, let's see the uh, it, let's let's uh, listen to the sound I think uh, that's uh, that is great disco we have and uh, it that that's it that's it that I want uh, wanted to show you today I think uh, I I I hope that uh, that was interesting for you please support me by your likes and uh, support me by your sub subscriptions subscriptions uh, you know it's not easy to uh, to uh, to record the video with uh, with English uh, when you uh, study that language and uh, I appreciate I appreciate your your support thank you for your questions uh, write questions in the bottom of uh, of the video and uh, I will try to answer all of them. Thank you and uh, see you!